Hi guys, this is Mr. V, and this is video number 1.6, Apes Review. Um, the topic is phosphorus cycle. So this is one of the most important, or again, um, it's not that one cycle is more important than the other. This is one of the easier ones to remember, and it's more important because this has a big human component, and it's also lacking something that the other cycles are not, that uh, do not lack. So if you look right here, if you look at the phosphorus cycle, you see it, it's dissolved in streams, it's dissolved in the soil, you see it in the rocks, it's in the oceans, it's in marine food webs, sediments, fertilizers even, and of course terrestrial food webs. And then you see the word aerosol, okay, that word aerosol up there. An aerosol is not a gas, okay? So when you see that word aerosol, don't think, oh, well, that means it's a gas, no. This is an important stage or an important cycle because this is the one that lacks an atmospheric component, okay? And that's what makes it so important in that it becomes the limiting factor in many um, cycles, in many ecosystems, including um, aquatic ecosystems. So you're gonna see that quite a bit in just a second. <clears throat> so um, in the phosphorus cycle, again, just like nitrogen, it's needed to grow plants and animals. Um, it's one of those things that we use in our proteins and our muscles to build. Um, but the problem is that because it doesn't have an atmospheric component, it tends to move very slow through ecosystems and biospheres and um, through lithospheres and not at all through the atmosphere because of that making it such a slow moving element. Um, so we have had to change the way this happens by commercially adding it through fertilizer. So when you have a fertilizer, nitrogen is in that fertilizer, yes, but phosphorus is going to be the big one that you're going to be seeing in there as well. So when I say the term limiting factor, think of a barrel. And you've got different little pieces of wood to build the barrel, but some pieces of wood are shorter than the rest. Okay, You're limited to how much you can fill that barrel by whatever the shortest piece of wood is. So in this example, if we're talking about nitrogen or potassium or sulfur or water or air or you know light or heat, these are all limiting factors. But the one that is the biggest limiting factor in this situation right here is phosphorus. Okay, Because if you look at phosphorus, it is the shortest piece of wood. And no matter how much you want to get up to this level or that level or that level, you can't because the phosphorus will begin to leak. And that's going to be a good analogy for what can happen to an aquatic ecosystem. If there's not enough phosphorus, you can't do this. Um, you know, another good household example is if you're trying to make a sandwich. You need pieces of bread, two pieces of bread, um, and you need one piece of uh, ham and then a piece of tomato and lettuce. If you only got one piece of bread, that's your limiting factor. So that's what's going on with phosphorus. It tends to be that limiting factor so that we cannot uh, grow or that plants cannot grow. Um, so this becomes a big thing for humans because now we've added it in our fertilizers. And the problem with that is we end up adding too much phosphorus and that ends up running off into aquatic ecosystems, leading to a problem we're gonna hear a lot about uh, in later units is called something called eutrophication. Okay, eutrophication is gonna be where there's too much nutrients in the water. So even though we did not mean for this fertilizer to be part of the water system, now we're adding too much of it and that can lead to blooms and that's gonna cause uh, too much algae to show up. And then you're gonna end up with other organisms dying and the ecosystem will end up suffering quite a bit um, because of the lack of, uh, of oxygen available. So we're gonna spend a lot of time on that in a different unit later but it's an important thing to understand that the phosphorus cycle is big because number one, there is no atmospheric component. And because of that, that's caused us to end up adding too much to it. So we'll talk more about the uh, eutrophication and um, uh, the issues with that later, but it's something to mention as well. So hopefully here's some other resources, um, this phosphorus cycle, cycle basics and limiting factors. Um, and so hopefully that was helpful and that um, uh, you'll be able to kind of get some information out of it, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.